Hi children, welcome to EduCub. Today we are going to discuss the paper, the last year science O-level paper with the marking scheme. Now let's discuss the second part, part B. They have, uh, there are uh, many essay questions which you have to answer only three questions within two hours. Let's move. I'm going to give you the answers by showing the marking scheme too. So, in part B, fifth question, here there's two parts A and B. A, let's move to the A. Given below is a stretch of a part of human digestive system. The questions are, First one, name the parts of label P, Q and R. Describe briefly how food is subjected to mechanical digestion in B, P. Third one, a secretion essential for the emulsification of lipids contained in food is produced by Q. Name the secretion. Fourth question, part A, what is the enzyme which is secreted by R and contributes to digest lipids? B, state two products formed by the action of the enzyme on lipids. Fifth question, the pair of hormones insulin and glucogen produced by R contribute to regulate the internal environment of the body. Here part A, what is the factor that is regulated in internal environment of body by the action of those hormones? In part B, explain briefly how those hormones contribute to regulate the factor you stated in A above. Let's move to the answers. Okay, you know this question is regarding to digestive system okay these are the answers here parts p is stomach q is liver r is pancreas so all together uh, you get three points here in second question they are asking for the uh, briefly describe how food is subjected to mechanical digestion in P. So they have given answer. The function of muscles due to prestolite activity of muscles contraction and relaxation in stomach while the food is broken into small pieces. Regarding to the function of muscles uh, and as the contraction and relaxation in the stomach wall, the food is broken into small pieces. Pieces. So this is the mechanical. Okay. Third question is a secretion essential for the emulsion notification of lipids contained in food is produced by Q. Name the secretion. So let's. See the answer. Answer is by. You will get one mark for that. Fourth question, part A. What is the enzyme which is secreted by R and contributes to digest lipid? Here, part A. Answer is lipase. Part A, state two products formed by the action of that enzyme on lipids. You have to write two products formed by that action of that enzyme on lipids. Answer is fatty acids and glycerol. You will get all together there are three points. Fifth question. The pair of hormones insulin and glucagon, glucagon produced by R contributes to regulate the internal environment of the body. Question is... What is the factor that regulated in the internal environment of the body by the action of those hormones? 
and uh, is uh, level of glucose. What is the factor? The factor they are asking, so level of the glucose is enough. Explain briefly how those hormones contribute to regulate the factor you stated. Now, now. Explain briefly how those hormones contribute to regulate the factor. So, here there are some points you have to write. You add glucose level, glucose level, glucose level, glucose level, glucose level, level is greater than the normal level. Glucose is converted into glycogen or fatty fat by insulin hormone. Right? If the glucose level is higher than normal level, it's converted into glycogen by insulin hormone. When gluco glucose level is less than normal glycogen on the gly on the glycogen uh, lever to convert into glucose. Then glycogen act, uh, act on the gly, uh, glucagon act as on the glycogen uh, and it is released to lever to convert into the glucose. Altogether, you can get three answers here, three points here. Okay, part B. Kidneys are, kidneys are considered the main organs which perform nitrogen excretion in humans. So, this is regarding to your uh, urinary system. What is secretion, excretion? Uh, I am the nitrogen excretory product removed by the kidneys. What is the structural and functional unit of, unit of kidneys? One step is process of forming urine in and functional and functional unit of kidneys is known as secretion. Part A. Describe briefly how secretion occurs. Part B. State other two steps in formation of urine. Let's see what is the first answer. What is excretion? Uh, excretion. The question is what is the excretion? The answer is here. Removal of the waste products from the body that are produced during metabolism is known as excretion. Look at the words removal, waste products, metabolism. They are very important here. Removal of waste products from the body that are produced during metabolism is known as excretion. You will get two points here. Second, name the nitrogenous excretory product removed in kidneys. Name a nitrogenous excretory product. There are so the thrust. So the three, so the three, so the three, they have given to you urea, uric acid, and creatinine. Okay. Third question is what is the structural and functional unit of the kidneys? Simple, it's very simple. Nephron. Fourth. One step in process of forming new structural and, functional and functional unit of the kidneys is known as sick. Describe, brief, describe briefly how secretion occurs. Here, entering some of materials H plus, uh, K plus, NH4 plus, creatinine, vitamin B and drugs in the blood capillaries associated with nephro. Nephron to the tubules of the nephron. Entering some of the materials, some like this, in the blood capillaries associated with the nephron of the of the of the nephron. B part B state are the two steps in furin. Furin state the other steps in formation. Ultra filter action. Right? You can uh, write the other words also selective reabsorption, no selective absorption. It is also correct. All together for the question 5, you can get 20 marks. Right? Let's move to the question 6. Hey, let's read the question first. A longitudinal section of 
fractionating tower of the refining crude oil in given below. Contained in ab abundance are the compound X in the fraction release from the outlet 1. Compound Y in fraction, fraction release from the outlet 4. And the compound is said in the fraction release from the outlet 6. First question, by what common name is the group of organic compounds contained in abundance in the crude oil known? Second one, name the crude oil refining technique employed in the tower. Third one, the boiling points of the compound X, Y and Z are Tx, Ty and Tz respectively. Write them in ascending order. X is a compound with a single carbon atom and containing carbon and hydrogen only. Draw the dot and cross diagram of the X molecule. For fifth question, write the balanced chemical equation relevant to the complete combustion of the one mole of compound X in the oxygen gas. Sixth one, the substance released from outlet 7 of the tower is used to construct road. Name that substance. Seventh question, state an environmental problem caused by gases compounds release would be released to the environment during uh, refining the crude oil. Let's move to the answers. Again, let's read the, read the uh, question. A longitudinal section of fractionating tower, uh, tower used to refining crude oil is given below. Contain in the abundance are compound X in the from the and release from the outlet 1. Compound Y is fraction release from the outlet 4. And compound Z is the fraction release from the outlet 6. First one they are asking by what common name is the group of organic compound com contained in abundance of crude oil is known. Okay, let's move to the answers. Here, hydrocarbon or alkane. Second question, name the crude oil refining technique employed in the tower. You, they are asking for the technique. Technique is fractional distillation. Distillation, fractional distillation. Third one, the boiling points of the compound X, Y and Z are TX, TY and TZ respectively. Write them in ascending order. Let's see. Here you can write in three methods. Uh, ascending order you can use comma or uh, greater than or lesser than mark. Here Tx, then Ty, then Tz. Okay, you can write that in that two methods also. It's very simple in if you write in first way. Um, um, X is a compound with a single carbon atom. Con con okay, fourth one, X is a compound with a single carbon atom and containing carbon and hydrogen only. Cross dot and cross diagram of X molecule. Let's see what is the S molecule is. Yes, S molecule is um, uh, methane. So this is the molecule. How you, the molecule. How you have to draw the molecule structure is like this. Okay, very simple. There are two bonds between C and H, uh, 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 four H atoms. So very simple. You can draw it like this. Fifth one. Write the balanced chemical equation relevant to the complete combustion of one mole of compound X in oxygen gas. Write the balanced chemical equation relevant to the com complete combustion of one mole in compound X in oxygen gas. Here, methane reacting with oxygen making carbon dioxide then water. Uh, if you do, you have to write the physical state. It is uh, it, here they are taking it's not necessary, but if you can write it is very uh, important for you also by uh, methane is burning with two oxygen molecules um, then making carbon dioxide then to water okay let's 
Sixth one, the substance released from outlet 7 of the tower is used to construct roads. Name the substance. Very simple. Answer is star or bitumen. State and environmental problem caused by gases components that would be released to the environment during refining of crude oil. State one environmental problem caused by the gases compounds that would be released to the environment during the refining of crude oil. Here acid rain or global warming for photochemical smog. Here they are, they are uh, mentioning here no marks for greenhouse effect. They are not giving marks for greenhouse effect. The best answer is I think acid is the best one here. Okay, part B. A is a strong acid and B is a strong base. Two products are produced in the reaction between A and B. One of those products is sodium chloride. First question is write the chemical formula of the compound A and B. Name the compound that is produced as the other product during the reaction between A and B. Describe briefly how the compound you stated in second above is formed during the reaction between A and B. Fourth question, an apparatus set up the determination the heat change associated with the reaction between A and B is shown in the diagram. Carefully observe the diagram first. In the apparatus, what is the measure has taken to reduce heat loss? Suggest the cause of action which can be taken to reduce further heat loss in apparatus. In fifth question, 50 cubic meter centimeter each of A acid solution and B base solution of equal concentration were taken and mixed in the above apparatus. The temperature change occurred here was determined to be 10 Celsius. Part A. What are the readings that should be taken to determine the above temperature change? B. Calculate the heat change associated with above reaction. The specific heat capacity also given density also given here. Sixth one, stretch an energy level diagram to illustrate the energy change occurring in the chemical reaction between A and B above. Let's move to the answers. So A is a strong acid, B is strong base. That's a chemical reaction between A and C. You have to write answers regarding to the, that incident. Write the chemical formula of the compound A and B. Let's see. Chemical A is HCl, B is sodium chloride. That's why the one product is they have given sodium chloride. Name compound that is produced as the other product during the reaction between A and B. Other product is water. Describe briefly how the compound you stated in second above is formed during the reaction between A and B. Let's describe it. By the combination of H ions from A acid and OH minus ion from B base, they all together react with like this. Or you can write it like this also H plus and OH minus all together is making H2O or you can write it like that. Okay, uh, fourth one, an apparatus set up to determine the heat change associated with the reaction between A and B is shown in the diagram. In the apparatus, what measures has to be taken reduce the heat loss? Uh, insulated, insulated vessel. 
such as the course of action which can be taken to reduce further heat loss of the apparatus. Con covering the, with the heat insulate in lid such as wood or carbon, carbon, cardboard or reform or placing another vessel we can use those methods to minimize the heat loss. Okay, for a uh, fifth one, 50 cubic centimeter of each A acid solution and B base solution of equal concentration were taken and mixed in above apparatus. The temperature taken occurred here is determined uh, 10 Celsius. What are the readings that should be taken to determine the above temperature change? Here, let's move to the answers. Starting initial temperature A and B uh, reactant HCl and NOH. Highest temperature of mixture of HCl and NOH. Okay, sixth one is catch an energy level. Sorry, uh, part A. What are the readings that should be taken in determining about temperature change? Part B, calculate the B heat change associated with the above reaction. So you have to calculate it. Here, uh, Q, sum, Q is equal mc theta. Uh, so m is uh, 0 0.1 kilogram. Uh, the heat capacity also given. Uh, heat change also given. So our answer is uh, 5000 joule. Six one. Sketch an energy level diagram to illustrate the energy change occurring in the chemical reaction between A and B. Let's see the diagram. Here. This is the diagram. You have to uh, mark the y-axis energy kilojoule for mole. Um, reactants, uh, NaOH and HCl is their products. It's a uh, releasing energy product, sodium chloride and H2O. So this is the answer. You will get two points for that. Okay. Seventh question. The following activities were done by a student at home using glass and hand lens. Activity 1. Read in a label with small letters. Activity 2. Burn in a piece of dry cotton wool by solar rays. Activity 3. Obtaining an image of tree in the compound on the wall on the house. Question A. Name the type of lens that should be taken as the hand lens. Between which two points related to the hand lens should be the label to place in activity 1. Indicate by ray diagram how light was traveled through the lens in activity 2. Instead of the hand lens, what type of mirror can be used to carry out activity 2? State two characteristics of image formed in activity 3. Name two instruments that are made using lens of the type used to hand lens. Okay, the first question is name the type of lens that used in used as the hand lens. The type is convex lens or converging lens. We can write it like that also. Uh, second one, between each point related to the lens should be labeled as placed in activity 1. C and F O O and F between optical center or focus, focal point. Right? We can write any of that answer. Indicate by ray diagram how light rays travel through the lens in activity 2. Here like this. You have to draw the lens then how it travels to the lens. Straight lines. Uh, if you draw the diagram without arrowhead you will lose one mark here. Instead of hand lens, what type of mirror can be used to carry out activity 2? Mirror is concave mirror. We can use to carry out that activity. 
state two characteristics of image formed in activity three. Let's see. It is real image and is smaller than the object inverted. These are the characteristics. Name two instruments that are made using lens of type used in used for hand lenses. Is it camera, compound microscope, contact lens, telescopes, projectors, spectacles? They are, these are the answers. In part B, when brakes are applied to normal motor vehicle at run, its kinetic energy is lost due to the friction. Friction 1. Breakers are applied to motor vehicle of mass 100 kg when running at the speed of 20 m. m is minus 1. A. Calculate the kinetic energy of the vehicle at the instance just before applying brakes. B. Name 2 forms of energy which the kinetic energy loss get converted when applying brakes. Second question, a part of kinetic energy lost when applying breakers to electric motor vehicle is converted to electric energy and its battery change, charged. Part A, name the equipment that convert kinetic energy to electrical energy here. B, name, the dis name and describe briefly the phenomenon of Converting lost kinetic energy of the vehicle to electrical energy. C. Name the equipment that converts the electrical energy supplied by the battery to kinetic energy required to run the vehicle. Part D. The electromotive force of battery used to electric motor vehicles is about 400 volt. This is composed of set of vehicles where the electromotive force is one cell is 4 volt. What is the minimum number of cells required to make the battery? Let's see the answers. Breakers are applied to motor vehicle of mass 100 kg when running at the speed 20. A. Calculate the kinetic energy of the vehicle at the instant just before applying brakes. Okay. Let's see the answers. Here is the way to calculate E is equal half M uh, square V. Answer is 200 kilojoule. Here, second the, uh, part B, name two forms of energy which the kinetic energy loss get converted when applying brakes. Heat, maybe sound. Mechanical energy, or oh, these are the answers. Part 2, a part of kinetic energy lost when applying breakers to an electric motor vehicle is converted electrical energy and its battery is charged. A, name the equipment that converts kinetic energy to electrical energy here. Uh, dynamo, electric generator, these are the answers. B. Name, the, name and describe briefly the phenomenon of converting lost kinetic energy of the vehicle to electrical energy. Electromagnetic induction. The generation of an electromotive force of a conductor when the magnetic field is changed across the conductor. This is the answer. The generation of electromotive force or potential difference of the conductor when the magnetic field change across the conductor. Part C. Name the equipment that converts electrical energy supplied by the battery to kinetic energy required to run the vehicle. Motor, AC motor or DC motor. Part D. The electromotive force of the battery used to electric motor vehicles is about 400 volt. This composed of set of cells were electromotive force of one cell is 4 volt, volt. What is the minimum number of cells required to make this battery? Number of cells are required. You have to divide 
400 volt by 4 volt. So you need uh, 100 cells here. So eighth question. A, a student recorded as follows, three animals and features of two animals indicate as P and Q as their names were unknown to him found in the okra cultivation. The names are snail, lizard, great uh, capital. Uh, P has a thin, long and vermiform body. The body is divided into equal segment Q. They are jointed legs and wings. Right. Write the answers to following question related to the animals observed. Question A, part A. Name two vertebrate animals. Part B. What is the main characteristics of which the insertion of those animals in the vertebrate group based? Let's see the answers. Vertebrate animals are Lizard and uh, greater cap. Okay, part B. What is the main characteristics on which the insulation of those animals in the vertebrate based, group based? Answer is presence of vertebral column or a backbone. Second one. According to the above observation, what is the animal phylum to which P belongs? Answer is Annelida. Three, state another common characteristic specific to animal species of the phylum to which Q belongs. Q belongs, uh, body is segmented, presence of an exoskeleton. Okay. Part four. State a favorable effect and unfavorable effect which can be expected to have caused by Q on the crop. Okay, favorable effects are contribution of pollination, uh, control insects and plant pest, biological pest control. We can take it like that. Unfavorable are act as the pest, spreading of diseases, destroying the crop roots. Consume leaves, flowers, and fruits. Okay. Uh, five. State a primary consumer and secondary consumer respectively in a food chain which contains animal absorb, observed in the okra cultivation. Five. Snail or uh, greater cockle. Six, a newspaper had printed Greater Kogel. Scientific name is the Centropus sinensis. According to the rules of binomial nomenclature, state two errors seen in it. Errors are no printed in italic letters. The first letter of this specific is capitalized. So these are the uh, errors seen on it. Part B, a cylindrical water tank is kept on the roof of the two-storied house. Question 1, consider an occasion in which two identical water taps is upper flow and the ground flow of the house are kept fully open at the same time. Question A, from the tap in the which flow does water flow out the higher speed, give the reason for your answer. From the tap of the which flow does water flow out with the higher speed. Okay, let's see. Question A answer is from the tap in the ground floor. Give the reason for your answer. Hydrostatic energy, hydrostatic pressure is higher because of the height of the water column. The tap is greater or potential energy is higher because of the heights of the ground floor for the tank is high. This is the answer. 
section 2 the inner cross section of area of the tank is 1 here square meter and its height is 1 meter they have given density and acceleration due to gravity also a what is the mass of water in tank when it is it completely filled with water part b what is the pressure exerted by water on the bottom of the tank when it is completely filled with water let's see the answers what is the mass of water in the tank when it is completely filled with, filled with water answer is density you have to find density first by dividing mass by volume so mass will come 100 kilogram sorry 1000 kilogram what is the pressure exerted by water on the bottom of the tank when it is completely filled with water pressure we can take it using h rho g uh, pressure will come uh, 10,000 Pascal. This is the answer. You can get it by solving like this. Solving like this. In question 3, the diagram shows a leave arrangement made to prevent the overflow of water entering the tank. When water gets filled, the Boil leaf close in the valve and the entry of the water stops. First of all, observe the diagram carefully. Question A. What is the force acting on the bow at the position shown in the diagram? What is the extra force acting on the bow from the time at which the water level rises and the bow started submerging water? State another advantage gained from this leave arrangement in addition to the prevention of water flow of water. Question A. What is the force acting on this uh, view at the piston shown in the diagram? Answer will be weight or gravitation, gravitational force. What is the extra force acting on the bow from the time at which the water level rises and the bow started to submerge in the water? It is the upthrust. State another advantage gained from this lever arrangement in addition to the prevention of uh, overflow of water. We can maintain the water pressure in the tank at the constant value. Right, question 9. Question 9. A. The cell U shows a below an electrochemical cell with the cell W is electrolytic cell. First, observe the diagram carefully. In which cell above chemical energy converted to electrical energy? What is the name by which anode react occurring in the two cells are shown in the common? Indicate the Hart's reaction occurring at the anode of the cell U by chemical equation. State the convention used to identify the anode and cathode at the cell W. 5a. What change is color occurs in electrolytic solution at cell W operates? B. Explain the reaction of it. 5. 6. Which electrode is dissolved when the above cell operates? Section A. In which cell above which cell above cell energy converted to electrical energy? Answer will be cell U. What is the name by which the anode react occurring in the two cells are known is common? Oxidation. 3. Indicate the Hart's reaction occurring at the anode at cell U by chemical equation. Sink turning into sink 2 plus with 2 electrons or we can write it like this. Sink gaining 2 electrons and turning into sink 2 plus.
Fourth one, is there the convention used to identify the anode and cathode in cell W? Cell W, the electron connected to positive terminal of the external electrical supply in anode. Five A. What changes color occurs electrolytic solution when cell W operates? Blue color decreases. Maybe it's be color be colorless. Explain the reason for it. Copper plus ions, copper two plus ions, responsible for the blue color of the solution. They will be re uh, removed or maybe reduced. Five. Uh, six, which electrode is dissolved when a bow cell operates? Sink. Here part B, let's move to the part B. In order to operate a certain household electronic equipment, the uh, domestic electricity supply has to be converted to low voltage. Direct current electric supply for that an arrangement consisting of the flowing parts is used. First of all, first of all, you have to uh, be carefully observe the diagram they have given to you. Okay. First part A. What type of transformer is connected to a bow arrangement? B. In what coil is transformer should be wired to higher diameter be used state read the reason for it. Second one, the number of turns in the primary coil of the above transformer is 1800. What should be the number of turns in secondary coil? Illustrate the graphically how the 12 volt alternating voltage supplied by the transformer varies with the time. Draw using standard symbols how the four diodes are connected in the full wave rectifier circuit. Name the device indicated by X. Okay, question A. What type of transformer is connected to a bow arrangement? Here, they have given you an answer. Step down transformer. B. In what coil is the transformer should be wires to higher diameter be used? Reason, uh, secondary coil to avoid the heating or reduce the resistance. The number of turns in primary coil is uh, 1800 turns in secondary coils. You have to use the simple equation VP divided by Vs equals to NP divided by NS. So, answer will be 90. Third one, illustrate graphically how the 12 volt alternating voltage supplied by the transformer varies with the time. So, this is the graphs. By using Y axis B and X axis T, it's like this type of graph. Uh, draw using a standard symbol how the four diodes are connected in the full wave uh, rectifier circuit. Here this is the full uh, symbolized diagram. Name the device indicated by X. X is capacitor. Okay, let's meet with this structured essay part. Till then, thank you.